You're looking live at Riverside High School, which is hosting Reigns for tonight's Friday football game. Security measures beefed up at some local schools after a couple scary incidents outside two local games this year. This comes one week after a scare at Fletcher High School. Last week, a fight broke out at the game against Sandalwood, and people said that they thought they heard gunshots. According to an email sent to families at Fletcher High School yesterday, enhanced safety procedures will be implemented at varsity football games. In another incident back in August, a 15-year-old was accused of opening fire into a crowd, leaving a game at First Coast High School. Police shot him minutes later. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joining us live from Riverside. Hi, Khalil. You spoke with a parent and a Fletcher student about these procedures. I did, and both say they are excited that they are enhancing those implemented procedures. Both tell me that what happened last week was a scary. But I do want to point out, you know, out here, like you mentioned, there are two Duval County School Police out here, and they told us if you look over there where the gentleman is in the green, that's where students for this game will have to walk through to get security checks to go in to that football game. And that mother and daughter we spoke to say they like seeing things like this, but wish there were more to keep people safe. Um, it's pretty scary because um, we didn't really know what was happening. A Fletcher High School sophomore who wants to remain anonymous is describing how she felt last Friday at the Fletcher versus Sandalwood game. Neptune Beach police say a large fight broke out and people thought they heard a gunshot. The police say there weren't any shots fired, but someone did get arrested for resisting an officer. When it comes to what happened last Friday, as a parent, what went through your head? Um, I was scared. I was definitely scared. I was mainly scared for my kids because both my kids were away from me at the time. This woman is the mom of the sophomore student at Fletcher High School. She wanted to remain anonymous to not identify her daughter. This week, the school sent two emails to Fletcher families. One details in part, two cars affiliated with people in the fights at that school game got pulled over and an AR-15 style rifle was found. The other email includes safety procedures the school will implement at football games. Some are hanging out at the fence or in common areas will not be allowed. Entry into the stadium will not be allowed after halftime, and they will continue to use wand detectors to screen all people attending the game for firearms or other weapons. This incident at Fletcher High School isn't the first scary situation at a school this year. In August, there was a shooting outside of First Coast High School. A 15-year-old was accused of opening fire into a crowd of people, leaving a game there. Police fired back at the team. In 2018, there was a shooting death at a Reigns High School football game. Following that, DCPS rescheduled some football games that fall for safety reasons. Some had earlier start times, while others were moved to Saturday morning. News for Jax also told you back then about some games having no fans. News for Jax asked that mom if that would be a good idea to do now. I don't know about changing the game time because I know that's going to be hard for a lot of working parents to go to. Um, I would love for that to happen, but I don't think that it's a realistic. And that mom says she is hoping more safety measures do get implemented at games to make students safer. And her daughter, who is on the Fletcher uh, Schools band, will not be at today's, ga today's game. Rather, she says she still is a little afraid. And News for Dax did reach out to DCPS to see if what happened in 2018 can happen again, you know, like changing the start times of games. They replied back to me in an email saying, while we can't speculate or answer hypothetical questions, safety is always our highest goal and we will continue to monitor our games and determine whether modifications to our security plans need to be made. Reporting live, Cleo Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.